Siamo a Budapest per la terza edizione del congresso ISIAT e abbiamo il piacere di parlare con il dottor Corrosier che ha presentato due studi molto interessanti. Uh, dottor Corrosier, in questo congresso you showed the results of two study. The first is on the combination of cross-linked hyaluronic acid and manitolo in patient with osteoarthritis. How did you perform this study? Uh, we performed two study with uh, such uh, uh, hyaluronic acid. The first one was a controlled, double-blind, uh, randomized study comparing uh, a combination of linear hyaluronic acid uh, and mannitol to a marketed US approved and uh, CE approved uh, visco supplement. Uh, it has been a uh, uh, non-inferiority trial and the conclusion of the study was that there was no safety concern with mannitol and the combination HA and mannitol without any uh, adverse, ev unexpected adverse events or severe adverse events and a rate of um, adverse reaction due to injection similar to that of visco supplement uh, without uh, mannitol. The second very interesting point in this study was the onset of action of the product containing mannitol that showed that the um, um, efficacy was obtained as soon as the second injection um, since uh, in the hyaluronic acid alone uh, the uh, efficacy was obtained only at three months after injection. The second study is on the comparison of the effectiveness of intraarticular injection of a combination of hyaluronic acid and sorbitolo in patients with and without femoral pain. Um, most of the studies in osteoarthritis of the knee were designed to demonstrate the efficacy of uh, HA in patients with tibiofemoral osteoarthritis. Very few studies are focused on patellofemoral osteoarthritis. So we used large scale non interventional studies uh, in patients treated with hyaluronic acid and sorbitol, and we classified the patient according to um, patellofemoral pain or no patellofemoral pain. And this study showed that uh, there was a dramatic decrease of pain in both group, and there were no differences in patient with and without patellofemoral pain. And that could be due to the addition of sorbitol with HA, because in previous study, patellofemoral pain uh, appeared as um, a factor of uh, um, lack of efficacy uh, in most of the study with HA alone.